Hello and welcome to some biology class. Friends, flowing is a complex tissue through which photosynthesis are transported from source to the sink. In order to understand the process of flowing transport, we must understand the structure of flowing. Flowing is a vascular tissue present in both gymnosperm and angiosperm. In angiosperm, phloem is composed of different types of cells. They are sieve tube elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, and phloem fibers. In some species, phloem fiber is present. Sieve tube elements are unique living cells. At maturity, they do not have nucleus. Sieve tube elements are joined end to end to form a tubular structure known as sieve tube. In a sieve tube, sieve elements are separated by a porous sieve plate. The pores that are present in the plate provide a continuous passage for the movement of sap through the flow. Friends, this figure explains the structure of flow. These are the sieve tube elements. This is a sieve tube element, this is another sieve tube element, and this is another sieve tube element. The sieve tube elements are connected end to end to form a sieve tube. And these adjacent sieve tube elements are separated by a porous sieve plate. These are the pores that are present in the sieve plate. These pores provide a continuous passage for the movement of sap through the sieve tube. The sieve tube elements contain a special type of protein known as P-proteins. These proteins could be fibrillar or tubular. In intact sieve tube elements, these proteins are located along the inner wall, so the pores remain open. When the sieve tube elements are damaged, these P proteins block the C pores, thereby reducing the loss of sap. In addition, the sieve tube element also contains calories we seal off the damaged sieve tube element in order to reduce the loss of phloem sap. Closely associated with the sieve tube elements are the companion cells. These are the companion cells which are closely associated with the sieve tube. These companion cells are symplastically connected with the sieve tube elements. Companion cells are living cells. They regulate the activity of sieve tube elements. Companion cells can be divided into three different types. They are ordinary type of companion cell, transfer cell and intermediary cell. Ordinary type of companion cells have numerous plasmodesmatal connection only with the sieve tube elements. They do not have plasmodesmatal connection with the surrounding mesophyll cells, so they are symplastically isolated from the surrounding mesophyll cells. Second type of companion cell is transfer cell. Transfer cells also have numerous plasmodesmatal connection with the adjacent sieve tube elements. They have wall in growth. The cells have no plasmodesmatal connection with the surrounding mesophyll cells, so they are symplastically isolated from the surrounding cells. Third type of companion cell is intermediary cell. Intermediary cell has numerous plasmodesmatal connection both with the sieve tube elements and also with the surrounding cells, particularly the bundle set cells. Intermediary cells are found in plants where phloem loading occurs through symplast. The other cellular constituent of the phloem is phloem parenchyma. These are the phloem parenchyma 
which are living cells. They are concerned with the storage of food substances in the form of starch and fat. Phloem parenchyma is absent in monocot. In addition, in some species, the phloem also contains phloem fibers. Phloem fiber is a dead sclerenchyma cells that provide mechanical support to the phloem. So friends, this is all about the structure of phloem. In the next video, we shall discuss about the composition of phloem cell.